Our colors we're going to be using today is yellow ochre, raw sienna, pure orange, and cardinal red. With the number 10 flat brush, we are going to do another coat on the comb and the wattle. Just give it a little more opacity since reds are still transparent. It just brightens it up a little bit. Please forgive the voiceover when I was doing this section of the painting. I did not have my microphone plugged in. But I will do the best we can and I'm sure you'll get the gist of everything that's going on. Just keep filling in. There's no rhyme or reason. We're just filling it in to give it that extra coat of red. Don't worry if you go over the eye a little bit or anything else. We'll come in and fix those little details later. So rinse out your brush. get the red out of it. Now we're going to start in the lower section of his body. These feathers are underneath all of the other feathers, so we'll start with those. A little touch of brightness at the end. I was testing to see if the three-quarter inch brush would work and changed my mind and decided to work with the number 12. You could do this with the number 10 flat as well if you prefer, but I went in with my number 12. So I rinsed my brush, tapped it out to dry it. So I'm putting some paper towels up here so you can see how I do that. I rinse my brush well, tap the extra moisture out, and then I go to load it. I'm loading with raw sienna and yellow ochre. 50-50, about even, and I work it into my brush so they blend together. Load it well. So you have plenty of paint in your brush without it being gloppy. Worked in there. Now we are going to lead with the yellow ochre and follow with the raw sienna. You notice how the Yellow ochre is on the top. Now you could go upwards or you can brush downwards if you like. Either one will work. Don't worry about getting it perfectly opaque. We're going to go over this a couple times. So this time I'm going to flip the brush, follow with the yellow ochre, and lead with the raw sienna. And you notice the difference in the color. All we did was flip the brush. We didn't change the colors. So I'm working that in there. Don't worry about going over the wing. We're going to recoat the wing and go over these. We'll clean it up when we bring in the wing again. Forgive me, I have allergies. We're going to take some orange, pure orange, on the brush and work it in. It's on the raw sienna side of the brush. We didn't clean the brush. Just put the orange in there to bring in a touch of brightness. I want this to be bright. This is a vibrantly colored rooster. So I cleaned out my brush, testing to see if all the areas are dry and where I can go from here deciding on the colors. So I'm going with raw sienna and yellow ochre. And I'm going to do the brush strokes in the opposite direction. I'm going to pull down. That will leave the ends a little spikier. And I'm leading with the yellow and following with the raw sienna. Can you see how that's working? I wanted the black to show underneath. We don't want to obscure those. 
adding a touch of orange to bring in some brightness. Follow the curvature of those feathers. I'm all on the chisel edge of the brush. Yellow ochre, more raw sienna, touching the red just to give it a little more oomph. You notice how those colors really pull it up. It gives it a lot of texture. Don't worry about little spots showing through. We're going to work on those. I don't, I didn't clean my brush to do all that. I just kept adding. Oh, now I want to bring up the color a little more, a little more brightness of the yellow. This is school bus yellow and I'm going to add it to my brush. Once I decide where I want that extra yellow. It's dried enough for us to go ahead and add a bit more color. But while we're waiting for to make sure, we're going to bring in some of his neck feathers, neck and chest. I guess that's kind of a top of his chest. Now I load with yellow ochre and raw sienna. And I'm going with the downward stroke again, leading with the yellow ochre, following with the raw sienna. Now my puddle of paint still has that red and orange in it, so it's bringing a bit of those tones in there as well. Follow the curve of his neck. Don't worry about overlapping in areas like his wattle or the earlobe. We'll fix those later. Reload your brush. Keep stacking those strokes. Don't worry about being perfect. Just lay them in there. If you have to come back to fill in a little more later, that's fine. Reload with yellow ochre rossi and add a touch of the school bus yellow to the yellow side. We want to start bringing up that lightness with the yellow here. You see how that's bringing it in? Still on the chisel edge. All these feather strokes are on the chisel edge. See how that brightness really has a nice contrast with the lower feathers. So we're reloading. At the top, we're going to switch the direction, I do believe. Oh, we're still doing the little feathers underneath the earlobe. Ear lobe. So we just went into the yellow to really brighten it up. Didn't add any other color, just the yellow, or school bus yellow. Be careful not to overwork it. You don't want, you want the striations of color. Now I'm bringing in a little darker color right at the crest, right where his head, his uh, feathers meet his wattle and head. Sorry about that. I will voice over the portion that I forgot to turn my microphone on for. So what I did was I'm dabbing my brush into the yellow ochre on the corner and loading it so I can put in his beak again and his legs. Just pull in his legs. Give him another coat. If you want to add a little bit of shadow on one side of his legs, just dip into the grassy in and just bring it down. Wipe your brush and kind of blend it. Just kind of blends in there. And you can shadow the underside of his beak. And highlight maybe the top. Bring a bit of touch of highlight up there. Give it some dimension. So I'm going to put in the circle of his eye again where I kind of went over it with the red wattle and we are all good. Let me see what 
that's dry. So I'm going to go into where I kind of overlapped with the feathers on his wattle area. This is dry so I can touch it. I'm just going to recoat that. And it's all good. So we're going to give his uh, comb a little highlight. My pure orange seems to be drying in here. So I just mixed a little bit of the pure orange with the cardinal red. We're going to give it a spark here and there. Not too much. So that just adds some dimension and in his waddle too. Right along the front is like a clevis, cleft chin. Wiped out my brush, get some more red, kind of blend that in. All right. Okay, hopefully I wasn't watching. I didn't get my hand in your way, I sure hope. All right. Okay, so I think I want a little more depth into that black. I want it really dark in some sections. So I'm going to put some more licorice out while all these other sections are drying. And I'm just going to stick with my number 10 flat. And I'm going to load it with the black. So in areas, I'm just going to add a little touch more black. No blue, just to give it some depth. Now I'm starting the chisel edge, press, and then bring up to a point. Now I'm inside of that feather, meaning I'm not going outside of it. That just gives it a little more depth of color. And underneath it shadows that one. And then when it dries, we'll see how that has turned out and what we think. Gives it some areas of a deeper color. Alrighty, not liking the way that one's curving. I got a smidge out here. Let's see if I can clean that up. Take my damp brush and pull it up. One more try. There, we got it. All right, so that part's dry, this part's dry. I want this to have a little more depth of color. So I'm gonna go into the yellow ochre and the raw sienna. I'm gonna put a touch more red in there, touch of orange, and I'm going to just bring that in there Okay, I'm liking that better. So it's got that in there. Now I want to touch more yellow. So I'm going to do the yellow ochre and the school bus yellow. I want that color to be bright. So first I'm going to see with the following, the color following is the yellow ochre. Let's see if, if, if it's enough, yes. So there, we got that brought up. So we'll see how it looks when it dries and um, see if I need to tone it down any. I have a feeling when it dries it's going to tone itself down. Okay. So this one again was the yellow ochre and the raw sienna. And pull some more. It just had, didn't have it quite as vibrant as I wanted it. And I don't want to obscure all the black. There's some black under there, but I do want, let me see, I messed up where my colors were, so I need to reload. So let's do another layer. Nope, not correct. I think the yellow ochre side needs a touch of the school bus yellow. A touch more. 
Yes. And then school bus yellow, and I'm gonna try just the school bus yellow and the red. See what we get. Oh, gorgeous. I want more yellow. So I'm taking out the red and just streaking in yellow. So there we go. Chisel edge, just streaked in some yellow. It's pretty thick in spots, so there's texture. So, oh, we are doing good. Now on here, I'm pretty happy with the tail, but I've got some white and yellow spikies right there. Just some short little pieces. So I need to get out some wicker white. And not too much, because just a few spikies, but I don't know if that's, oh, yep, it's dry enough. I'm just gonna start slight, because this is not very, it's like the white little fuzzy feather, so it's not completely opaque. Coming right up here, just some little spikes. I'm just doing the corner of the brush. Corner of the brush, working it in there, giving these little tufts of white. Just barely. Rinse out. And then on top of that is some of the yellow ochre with the raw sienna and a touch of the red. So let's see how that goes. I might even dab in a bit of the yellow because I want it to be bright. And you're just going on top of that white. And there's even a little spike up here. Just a touch. Okay. I'm gonna step back. I'm gonna look at it, decide what direction I wanna go next. This is just not bright, as bright as I want it. Now remember, when we put our finish, our varnish on, it will brighten some of those colors because it makes it a bit shinier. But it's still, it's a little too dull for me. So. I'll come in with some more yellows and another layer on those colors. 